Hi, Rick Bryant. Today we're at Smythe Volvo in Summit, New Jersey. Um, we're taking a look at, at, the, uh, at the UVI system that they have installed. They've had the, the wheel and the undercarriage portion of it, but Atlas Light has just been installed recently. But we also want to talk about the other processes that perhaps they've changed and other things that they've found that are beneficial about the machine and anything that maybe isn't working so well. I'm looking forward to it. We're going to walk around a little today. We're going to talk to a few of the, few of the employees here and see how it's working for them. And, uh, and it should be a pretty interesting day. Kevin Flanagan, uh, owner of uh, Smythe Volvo and a couple of other uh, franchises locally, uh, and actually one of the first uh, users of UVI. And I'm just curious, Kevin, you know, you've been with us from the beginning and you've talked a lot about how good this machine was. And, you know, you've used words like game changer and it's really, it's really differentiated things. So, um, you know, in the morning you have a rush. How are you handling it process-wise as the cars come through? You know, what's, what, what do you guys do to make sure that you know, you can get everybody scanned in. Yeah, well, actually, it's it's it saved us in, in time. We've reduced about five minutes per write-up wow. um, on, on it because we no longer have to go around the car. We used to manually go around the car with an iPad, and we don't, we don't have to do that anymore. Now, How many now, cars a day? Does it. We do about 65 cars a day, so, so that's a lot of talking, cars. You're talking a couple of hours anyway. Particularly so, in the morning. Yeah. Particularly in the morning, that's really where the big... The big issue is with these, and, and you know, f from what we generally see. So you used to walk around with an iPad, and then the writers would pick out things, and they would they would point them out to, the, to your customers, and you know, ask if they wanted to do it or not do it, and if they saw it, if they saw it, yeah, it, only if they saw it, and that, that's that's part of the issue. So it really has become now present the scan. The machine doesn't miss it. One of your writers was telling me earlier that uh, that a car came through and an acorn had fallen on the roof. And they couldn't see the dent, but the machine actually picked it up. Yep. Uh, yep. And you have a collision center. We do. So Absolutely. are you able to feed some work to your collision center? Feed feed work to our collision center. We sell more tires through it because it, it picks up the, the date on the tires. Right. Um, awesome. and, and Volvo people, obviously, that's a very important thing is to have good tires, good you know stopping distances, et cetera. And um, for our body shop, and then we also do a, a good bit of wheel repair as well because we have CNC, we do, we do our wheel repair in-house. Oh, so, so that's worked out well for you. Oh, yeah. So yeah. you're finding you're getting a lot more wheels because the machine's picking up the nicks and scratches and oh, yeah. curb rash, yep. et cetera, yep. et cetera. Yep. Wheels, tires, dimples, um, you know, we're, we're, we're talking about now setting up, a, which we didn't think of before, but uh, just doing a complete makeover now on cars. You know, we can, we can show it to them and, and, uh, and wrap it all up in a nice package. Are you going to do paintless dent repair as well? Uh, not yet, but we're, we're thinking about it. Yeah, we're thinking about that. Yeah, yeah. I, I know a couple of dealers have told me that they're doing that. They're actually putting a specialist. They can move. They can roll between their different franchises. Yes. You know. Yep. So. Yep. Um, one other question I had for you is: is um, are, are, you, are you finding your policy work is going down? You know, the customers come back and say, "Hey, that scratch wasn't here when I dropped the car off." Very much so. As a matter of fact, just last week we had a customer who said exactly that: said you scratched my bumper, uh, and we were able to show them themselves in the car with the scratch on the bumper, when pointing it out to them. It was, that's, that's great stuff. Was, that's great stuff. It's money, you know? Yeah. I know this is only a couple of weeks old for you, and I'm asking a lot of questions because I'm mm -hmm. you know, very interested. Another question that I had is, are you, are, you in the, are you one of the retailers that's out there that's actually actively looking to buy cars? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So have you, have you considered maybe having customers come in, you know, put an ad and say, come in for a free scan and we'll, we'll give you a number on your car? And That's a great idea. Yeah, just to, to, to take a street trade right. and say, you know, it, it'll be a five-minute process. Right. And we'll give you the scan. You, we'll, we'll give you a copy scan. of the yeah. scan so yeah. you know exactly yeah. what you have. Do you find at all that it's reduced the number of calls that a writer needs to make during the day to a customer when the tech finds something that, in other words, are you finding stuff in the morning when the customer's being written up, as opposed to tying up a stall, like let me get a hold of Mr. Flanagan and you know, absolutely, see, yeah. absolutely, because again, you have the date on the tire, you have the wear on the tire, um, you have any kind of anomalies that are underneath the vehicle, and what's nice is is, is with the AI, it's starting to learn those anomalies, so it's circling them for us, and the customer, we don't even have to sell it. The customer is saying, "What's that circle for?" Right, and you could say, "Oh, that's a that's a worn." bushing or a yeah. torsion bar or whatever it is that we're talking about. Um, or, you're, you know, why, why does the tire show red there? It shows red because that tire's worn out and you can see that it's worn out on the edge. Uh, you yeah. probably need alignment as well. And so it, it just is a natural cadence of how things will sell because, uh, as I said, a picture's worth a thousand words. Yeah. People see it and they believe it. And yeah. it's, it's, they're seeing it in real time. I just drove my car through this machine 
This machine showed me what my car needs done. What I think is probably the, the unsung hero of this tool is the clarity of the digital picture. Yeah. Um, you, you cannot, honestly, you know, I started as a tech, as you know, right? You could not take a light underneath a car and, and, and see what you see with yeah. these pictures. You could not. Um, I, I find it to be, as I, as I said before, this is a game changer. This is something that really alters the way that you do business uh, when it comes to service and service drive. Um, and I, I, I will tell you that you know that I do not like to spend my money, but uh, it's worth every cent of it. For some stores, it's a big process change. You know, it's not the way that we've done it for years. Mm -hmm. um, I use it but when I was a service manager way back before computers. They brought in a Reynolds and Reynolds system. It was like the first one. It was before Brockman owned it. And, and, and we came up with an automatic dispatching system. And I'm like, there is no way this machine can dispatch work better than me. I know what tech yeah, to have, what yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And it took me about six, seven months before I said, okay, I'm going to adapt to it. So have you found any adoption issues with your writers or your customers, or, or has it just been smooth? I have to say, and I've experienced exactly that in many, many aspects of the business over the 40 plus years I've been doing this, um, it's been, it's kind of a no brainer. I mean, they look at it and they say, okay, I'm going to save time and improve my accountability how how can I not how can I not do that? You know, it's there's 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 no need to work around it. Um, in addition, to that, it is so easy. I mean, literally, customer drives in, they drive through, done. Techs have adapted well, no tre issues, tre tremendously well. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Uh, I, again, for a tech, this takes a lot of the back and forth between the desk and and the and the shop because they've so got it. it. Just they've it got it. Efficient. The customer's already said. Do the alignment, they, you know, so they, they don't have to. They don't have to come back and then re-educate. I was listening to a podcast the other day, and they, the gentleman was talking about if you go to UPS, the guy behind the UPS counter could be one hour old, but your package will be in Shanghai tomorrow, right? Because they have a process. Yep. And I would think that this could help with that process. Oh, you absolutely. Scan the car, explain the scan. There's not a lot to, you know. There's not a lot of guesswork there's not a lot of you got to learn don't don't forget to talk about tires don't Correct. forget because it's there in front of you so i would hope that as we move forward and again i know you're two weeks into this you know you'll start to see that you, know, you don't have a lot of turnover but for those people when you bring a new person in it's very easy we had a new girl started at another store and she was like i can't believe this i'm selling tires like crazy you know and it was she was all excited and yeah. enthusiastic because she said it's so easy yeah so yeah. yeah and ease makes a big difference you know when when it's easy and it's successful and you know, the people don't feel that that stress and that pressure of yeah. you know the customer going. Yeah. yeah, I've sold a lot of cars. You know that in my life, and a lot of the people that I've sold cars to are friends, and they'll call me and they'll say, "I'm at the dealer. My car's at the dealership. The dealer says I need two tires. Do I need them?" And I'm like, "I'm not there. I don't know." <laughs> but it's that transparency that right. you know when you go through this machine and you're looking at the two tires. Okay, I know that I need those two tires. Right. I'm not going to call Rick right. <laughs> and ask him a dumb right. question. <clears throat> Yeah. The other thing is, is that it allows them these things to stack upon each other, right? Customers already agreed to the alignment and the tires and whatever else that they've agreed to simply from the visual. So it's one less thing that the advisors need to bring to their attention. Now, when the advisor brings something else to their attention, they can, you know, they can understand that. You're, you remember the old days when we used to do the service clinics? Yeah. You'd buy lunch and you'd invite a bunch of customers. You'd get, you'd get some text to work all of them or half of them or whatever right. and the writers and people would come in and they'd leave their car and we'd run them in the shop we'd do a multi you know i mean i was thinking the other day a service clinic could be like come on down saturdays free scans yeah right yeah just run it through give me yep. the scan this is what you're going to need i can make an appointment for you yep yep so. yeah and you know those service clinics the main thing that they did is they built credibility correct you know and this builds credibility it's not it's not somebody selling to you you saw it it's, it's clear not an as, opinion it's clear as day it's clear as day right so you know. cool cool yep Always good seeing you, man. I gotta go buy a McLaren. <laughs> <laughs>